What exactly are dragons? Stories of dragons have existed since the time stories were told. Dragons generally are said to have wings, scales and claws and breathe fire. They are also thought to be majestic creatures of mystery and magic. Different cultures have varying stories. The Europeans early on thought of them as sea creatures and had maps depicting them waiting to eat unsuspecting sailors at the edge of the earth. Generally the dragons were thought of as bringers of destruction and terror, often depicting them as hoarders of treasure or maidens or both. At the other side of the planet, the Japanese, Koreans, Chinese revered and worshipped them as mythical creatures who brought wisdom, prosperity and good luck. Japanese ones are water deities and celestial beings associated with rainfall and bodies of water and are typically depicted as large, wingless, serpentine creatures with clawed feet. Chinese dragons traditionally symbolize potent and auspicious powers, particularly control over water, rainfall, typhoons and floods. Has there been proof that dragons existed? Well, ancient people may have discovered dinosaur fossils and understandably misinterpreted them as the remains of dragons. Chang Ku, a Chinese historian from the 4th century BC, mislabeled such a fossil and gave credibility to the myth of dragons. A stegosaurus was a giant beast, 30 feet in length and typically 14 feet tall and was covered in armored plates and spikes for defense. Even in a small town of Austria, they mistook the skeleton of the ancient rhino and called it dragons. A statue of a dragon still stands in the middle of the town square. Humans usually try to find meaning in things they can't explain. The closest thing we can call to actual dragons is the Commodore Dragon. Not entirely a dragon, but fearsome anyway. So we know that the dragons are fictional, but as they say, there is no smoke without fire.